Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video to those who are writing GCE this year. In today's video, I want to give us areas of concentration and to give us guidelines on how to get an A in our GCE examination this year. I have done a lot of video series on alternative to practicals on GCE. You may love to click in the description box below to find the video links to all the alternative to practicals on GCE. Again, the document you are watching here, I have prepared this document. You can find the link to this document in the description box below. There are two of these documents. A document on multiple choice questions and also a document on the paper two. This particular document you are watching right now, paper two and paper three. I will drop the link. Just click on the link and then it will take you to where you can download the document and then you can you may print it out and prepare with it and i bet you at the end of the day you will come back to my channel and say uh, thank you mr benjamin for helping me to get an a in my gce it will also interest you to know that this document before you here is the very document that i have been using to prepare my students the documents have produced so much results. A good number of them going out with A's and scanty number of them with B's. Your case will not be an exception. The, the source for this particular resource material is yekonline.org.ng. Disclaimer, I do not promote examination malpractice these questions that you are seeing are not your life physics questions this year so distance yourself from examination malpractice and you will find yourself getting an a in your gc don't forget a journey to a star in physics gc begins with completing the scheme of work and looking at gc past questions I wish you guys good luck in your physics GCE this year. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to the business of the day. I'm going to just journey with us through these questions and guide us on what we are supposed to do. You'll be presented with your theory question. You can see the year is appearing. The... the the year and the source of this question. This is exactly what you see when you go to Wayek um, Porter to get their questions. Wayek actually want all the candidates to pass their exams with flying colors. But sometimes we are so lazy to study and prepare for our exams. So after watching my videos, you have to download this document, print it out and it's it. Now, what is this document all about? This document is a very, very rich document. If you are watching my video and you are a teacher, I would advise you go through this document and it will also help you prepare your students for this year GCE. The, after they have written the exams, the wire coordinators will come together and then, anal and then analyze the exams. I mean the exam, and also look at the weakness of the candidates and the remedies. They also suggest some, they also suggest some, I mean, they also give some recommendation that will help the student and also the teachers. So everything you are seeing here is very, very important. You can go to the suggested remedies and then it will help you so that you don't repeat the mistakes that the other candidates uh, did and then you stand a better chance of getting an A in your GCE exams. So please go through these weaknesses and then you will 
uh, and then the, the suggested remedies and then you stand a chance to get an A. So the, the, the questions are structured in two parts. Part one and part two or part A and part B. In part one, you are supposed to answer five questions out of seven. In part two, you are supposed to answer three questions from part two. So, part one, which is the part you are supposed to answer five questions. Each question in part one carries three mark. That is 15 mark. And then each question in part two, part two begins with question number eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. In part two, you have five questions. You are supposed to answer three questions out of these five questions. In part two, each question carries 15 mark. In part one, each question carries three mark. So three times five gives you 15. For 15 times three gives you 45. So 45 plus 15 marks gives you 60 over 60 in your theory part. Now, question part one. In part one, somebody was asking him to drop questions that, I mean, topics that they should read. And if you are watching this video, this is an answer to the question you asked me today. In part one, which are those topics are you supposed to lay much emphasis on? In part one, recurring topics over the years are as follows. You have questions from projectiles, projectiles and motion under gravity. You have questions from linear motion. You have questions from Hooke's law, elastic properties of matter. You have questions from friction, forces, friction. You have questions from fiber optics. You have questions from laser. You have questions from semiconductors. Then you have also questions from particle nature of matter, crystalline structure, um, atomic model, uh, kinetic theory of matter, all the stuff. Prepare around this area and then you will stand a chance to answer all the five questions and get your 15 mark. Now, these questions are, are, are short structured uh, questions. They, there are, there are questions that you can answer them within two or three minutes. So how do you go about them? You will go through the part one. There are seven questions from part one. You will take a survey. When you see your question, whatever is your faith, whatever is your religion, so if you believe in Allah, you pray to Allah. If you believe in God, you, if you believe in God, you pray to God. Whatever you are, is your, your religion, you pray. When, they, when you are done praying, you pick up your question, and then you do what I call question survey. You go through the questions and then select the five best questions that you are going to answer. Then when you are done selecting the five best questions that you are going to answer, you now prioritize your questions. Which one is the most simplest question? That question becomes your question number one. You should always start your exams with the most simplest questions because the most simplest questions opens your mind to answer even the most difficult questions. Good. So what I have here is that they have asked a question. Question number one, define the yield point of an elastic material. Question number one B, state the SI unit of the Young's modulus. So in this document, where you see observation, that is where the question is answered. That is the reason why the title and the, I mean, the title of this document that is before you is questions and answers, past questions and answers. I have helped you. It took me so much effort to gather this material here in one place. And this material has been helping my students and I hope it will also help you. 
So where you see observation, that is where they have answered. This. So this question number one is answered where you have seen the observations here. Now, the question is answered with the exact words of the examiner. What the examiner expects you to say or to write down. The operational term. And that's, that is why this material stands a chance of giving you an A in physics. So that is that about this material. So question number two is answered down here, this observation. Question number three is answered down here. And then question number four is answered down here. That is exactly what I've done throughout this document. Question number five is answered down here. You don't need to start going online to go and check out where and where to get the answers. These are correct answers and they, they are error free. Question number six, this is where they have answered it. Using dimensions show that the energy is equal to work. This is where it is solved. Question number seven, which is supposed to be the last question in part one. It is solved down here. And then the next part is part two. Part two begins with question number eight. Question number eight, how is it structured? Question number eight is always question for mechanics. How is this structured? Question number eight is structured using topics uh, from mechanics, topics from linear motion, topics from motion under gravity, topics from projectiles, topics from Newton's law of universal gravitation, topics from friction. They may go through these topics and pick at random and then form this question number eight. Even topics under Hooke's law, elastic properties of matter. So question number eight is always on mechanics. So this is how to go about it. Define upthrust, state the function of seat beds in automobiles. You see, they have mixed the question. Upthrust is a question from equilibrium of bodies in fluid. And you have seen what they have just done here, as I was saying. Then the next one is they ask you to state the function of seat beds in automobiles. Give three examples of of neutral bodies that execute circular motion. You see, question from, from different topics that are from mechanics. So question number nine. Question number nine is always a question from heat energy. Take notes. Question from number nine is always a question from heat energy. So you can choose to prepare uh, and to prepare in the areas that you want to answer your physics question if you want to. You can prepare for mechanics, prepare for heat, prepare for optics, and then go straight and start answering your question. But this is the danger in restricting yourself just in three areas. Sometimes you may see questions and the questions may be too difficult for you. Those questions that you have prepared for, I mean those areas that you have prepared for, the examiners may bring questions in those areas that are too difficult for you to handle. And then the other areas which you do not prepare, you may likely see more simpler questions yet to answer. So for this reason, you have to prepare strategically and prepare all round so that you don't know what you're going to expect in your exams. So question number nine is question from heat energy. They will bring questions from Measurement of heat energy, that is specific heat capacity, latent heat, uh, uh, effect of heat on the substance, uh, um, factors affecting the rate of evaporation, linear expansivity, volume expansivity, cubic expansivity, apparent and real cubic expansivity. These are the areas that they will bring questions from. Questions from modes of heat transfer, questions from thermal conductivity. Questions also from, yeah, from these areas. So you prepare all round and then you stand a chance to answer all the questions. So this is what they have also done here. So this is the calculation and this is how to go about it. And then you stand a chance to get your A. Question number 10 is a question from waves. This time they have chosen sound waves here. They may choose light waves. It is majorly from light waves. So if from light wave, they may choose a question from reflection of light 
at curved mirror surfaces or, or plane mirror surfaces. They may choose a question from refraction of light through glasses, triangular or rectangular glass block. Questions from total internal reflection, critical angle. These are the areas you have to prepare for. Or question from progressive waves. Everything you know about waves in physics. Transverse wave, progressive wave, standing wave, or stationary waves. All of them. Even electromagnetic waves. So this is what you expect from question number, number 10. Then this is where to solve these observations here. Very, very simple. Question number 11. Question number 11 is from elect. Uh, is from is from electromagnetism and electricity electromagnetism and electricity what are the questions you expect here the questions that you're gonna expect here even in GC and in YEC are as follows you expect questions from Ohm's law questions from a simple AC circuit questions from electromagnetism questions from Faraday laws of electrolysis. Questions from Coulomb's law. Questions from electrostatic. These are the questions that forms up question number 11. So you prepare yourself to answer this question. So this is where to solve all of this observation. The precise ways of the examiner, what and what you are supposed to do. Question number 12. Question number 12 is order quanta in atomic theory. Quanta in atomic theory. What are the questions that form up the questions from question number 12? Questions from radioactivity. Questions from nuclear reaction. Question from energy quantization. Question, questions from photoelectric effect. Questions from, from binding energy. All of them form this question number 12. Also, questions from semiconductors can form this question number 12. Question from wave particle paradox. So, you don't know which one the examiners will go and choose and bring up for you. So, this is where it is solved. So, you prepare yourself and then you stand a chance of getting your A. So, these ones are the alternative to particle questions for this particular year. I have done videos on alternative to particles. You go through those videos and then you print this one out and try to, to solve these questions. This is um, the figures. You go through them and that. So everything I just explained, we still repeat in another year again. So these are the alternative to particle questions i would love if you can go to it so this is another year 2019 beginning for question number one again down so you have variety of questions to go through and then make make your a in physics click in the description box below if you are not comfortable watching it here you can print it out as a hard copy and then you will stand a chance to get your A in physics. I also uploaded, um, I mean, I also sent the link to question, I mean, to multiple choice questions. So right now you have all the questions on, on my channel, paper one, paper two, paper three, with their solutions. I wish you guys success in your GCE exams this year. Don't engage yourself in any examination or practice. If you are caught, you go straight to jail. I don't promote examination or practice on my channel. I wish you guys success. Success all the way. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.